Hi guys, welcome back. Let's talk about a quick ways to fix Mac OS Tahoe not showing up problem. If Mac OS Tahoe 26 is not showing up as an available update on your Mac, it usually comes down to compatibility, network issues or even update settings problem. But both or not, I have got you fully covered with some quick fixes. That said, let's get started. So first and foremost, I will recommend you to check your Mac's compatibility. Make sure your Mac supports Mac OS Tahoe 26. Note that your older Mac may not be eligible, so verify your model on Apple's official compatibility list and ensure that it is fully on board. And then I will recommend you to restart your Mac. Restarting refreshes system processes and after you have successfully rebooted your Mac, go to the Apple menu and choose the system settings option. After that, select General and then head over to the Software Update section to check if the update has shown up. Then I will recommend you to verify your internet connection. Ensure your Mac has a stable and strong internet connection. If Wi-Fi is unreliable, switch to another network or use a wired Ethernet connection. And finally, I will recommend you to reset the network settings on your Mac. It's worth pointing out that sometimes network preferences can prevent updates from showing up. So go for this pretty reliable and effective solution. To do so, just launch the Finder app on your Mac and then press the following command. And then you have to head over to this address and hit enter. And then you have to locate and delete these files. After that, you have to restart your Mac and reconnect to Wi-Fi. And then you have to head over to System Settings, General and Software Update section to check whether or not the update has shown up. Hopefully, it will appear as usual and that's about it. So, these are the best tips and tricks to fix Mac OS Tahoe 26 update not showing up problem. Hopefully, you have managed to get a better at this annoying problem. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and share it and do subscribe for more such handy macOS tips and tricks and I'll catch you up in the next one.